The idea of uh, the American University of Armenia was on the table and HBU being historically engaged so much in educational programs adopted this project as one of its main activities to pursue. AUA has been a success story and uh, today we are proud of its achievements. When we started, I remember the early days, it, in our wildest dreams, we would have never thought that AUA will be what it is today. We have uh, been committed and we continue to be committed to AUA as one of the main programs of HBU in Armenia. When we were thinking of this university in the initial years, we had an image in our minds of a university, but to be honest, I could not envision what AUA is today. A respectable, a highly regarded university in Armenia, in, in the region, attracting students from close to 30 countries, accredited by U.S. agencies. So degrees obtained here are recognized all over the world. It is very hard to imagine the future, but where would this university be in 10 years from now? Perhaps one of the best universities in the world. Of course, I met Armin initially as a member of the Board of Trustees of AUA and uh, quickly learned about his distinguished career at the University of California, which is, of course, why I was on the board. I had been uh, provost at UC and learned about AUA through UC. Some very distinguished AUA trustees all had distinguished UC careers and loved AUA because it had so many uh, similarities to the University of California. The factors that uh, shaped our giving and philanthropy was that uh, Huri and I, my wife, we always felt that higher education is essential for any country to prosper and to be economically viable. And we both have a strong feeling about AUA, after we started learning more about it, that they are addressing the needs of uh, Armenian society. We're so proud of this young and talented students at AUA who always strive for excellence, who have this intellectual curiosity uh, to acquire uh, new knowledge and to always um, achieve new heights in their prospective fields of expertise. Part of AUA is a wonderful feeling because AUA gave me the opportunity to explore and develop my abilities and it encouraged me every day to become the best version of myself and taught me that learning, hardworking and believing in yourself are the main keys to the success. Sarkis and I both grew up in families where giving was a value and we saw that example. A few years back, we had the opportunity to attend the graduation. And it wasn't until then, uh, when you touch, you see, you feel, that graduation ceremony, seeing those hats going up in the air and the, the exuberance of the youth, I just was filled with a deep appreciation for the founder's vision and courage and their steadfastness in plowing ahead. And that's a great inspiration when you see the examples of other people. I have done a lot of work at the time, 20, 25 years ago, with uh, Louise Simone. I was so uh, happy to see that her commitment to AUA yes. Yes. was without boundaries. First, uh, I earned admissions to AUA in 2014, but then I received the call of duty to join the Armenian military. 
for two years. So I joined the Armenian military in 2014 in the summer and later then in 2016 I was involved in April war. Uh, the four day war which was very intense, I thought that I wouldn't be able to even come back and see my family. Then I came back to AUA in 2016. I have been tremendously blessed to be given the scholarship by AGBU aspects and uh, Maria Mazzola and Luciana Cavallet endowed scholarships for my academic years. In the last few years, AUA has added academic programs in order to attract more students and diversify its offerings. So on the master's side, we have added the master's in strategic management, a 15-month program, as well as on the bachelor's side, we've added engineering sciences and data sciences uh, in order to produce more STEM graduates uh, prepared for careers in Armenia. As long as the university has all the different fields eventually that they will need, medical, science, uh, in education, uh, in government, in health management, all those fields, then they'll be able to produce all of their own people to lead the country. Most of our students are in the computer science field and uh, one of them uh, we met last year and he's already talking about starting his own company after he graduates. So. Every time I come here and I see the quality of the students getting better and better all the time, the wonderful smile on their face, their idealism, their um, optimism, their willingness to uh, tackle any adversity, um, and the quality of the education at AUA just makes us so proud. Positive developments uh, in Armenia and with AUA are numerous, but what I really am encouraged by is Armenia's ability, and I think AUA is a part of it, about a very tech and entrepreneurial spirit that I feel is so part of the DNA of AUA. I think DNA of AUA is very much about how American values and American institutional practices in education can be somehow integrated into the culture and lifestyle of daily Armenians in Armenia. The idea that you have young people, both undergraduate and graduate, that want to start their own businesses, that want to start their own tech firms, I mean, that's Silicon Valley. We are so thankful to Dr. Derkyurarian um, for his dedication to AUA. It has been a pleasure and an honor to meet him. He's a wonderful president, a great person, and he's so friendly with everybody, especially with the students. Thanks to him, Armenian students have the opportunity to study at the greatest university ever in Armenia, and his valuable contributions to AUA, to the students, and to the many uh, generations of AUA will forever be remembered. From the first day that I've known him, he has been very, uh, very nice and supportive to all the students. And I've always felt like I could always go to him with any questions that I had. Well, I've said this many times, and I want to repeat it. AUA is the best investment that the diaspora has made in Armenia. <laughs>